Welcome back guys, hey, we're out here in Hong Kong and right now we're going to this very unique style of public transportation. And what I mean by that is escalator ride that lasts for like 20 to 30 minutes. And the reason they have this is because it goes up like, you know, here in Hong Kong, it's like, a, it's like mountainous terrain. So it goes up this very steep part of Hong Kong where obviously subways don't go. So they installed these escalators, I don't know how long ago, but they installed them and uh, it's really fun to go up, even if you're just like touring around because of the sights and everything here that you see going up is really cool to look at and it really gives you a unique perspective of Hong Kong. All right, so this is the beginning part. As you can see, it's uh, this escalator is a flat one that goes up a slight incline. So it switches off depending on how steep the area you are is. So it can turn into, well, it will turn into stairs and we'll uh, check that out. But there's also, it's not also one escalator, it's a huge walkway. And one thing about this though is, if you go up, there's no escalator down. So if you're going up to experience it, prepare to be uh, walking down and it is uh, quite a long way but I think you'll get down faster than you'll get up all right as you can see we have our first exit similar to like a freeway exit to get off at this part which brings you to this neighborhood and you can continue going this way and there will be more escalators. So what this machine behind me is, it's actually a fare saver. I thought it was something you had to pay for, but they actually give you money to use on uh, public transportation by taking this to decongest public transportation in the city. So that's really cool. Uh, for some reason, I thought you had to pay to use these, but it's actually the opposite. They kind of pay you to. All right, what I forgot to mention is the reason we're taking these escalators is because we're gonna go to Victoria Peak, see that view, take the tram up there, and then after that, I don't know, we're just gonna see where the city takes us and we're gonna have a great time with this, so let's go. All right, so right now we're at this, uh, this part of the escalators where there's like, more like hipster, you got a lot of restaurants, got a lot of bars, but the reason I'm stopping here is because uh, I just wanted to show you first, but also I think this is the point where it starts to get a lot less dense because I assume a lot of people use these escalators just to get to these neighborhoods here and then the further up you go I assume you probably live up there. We're about halfway up anyway so we're gonna continue this trek. Can it even be a trek if it's on escalators? I don't know. All right, so now this is where like zigzags and I'm sorry. Now, <laughs> now this is where like zigzags and everything. So now I gotta walk back to catch the next ex escalator because uh, back there just leads straight out to the street. All right, so we're gonna take a little pit stop here because I saw this little view up here it looks pretty interesting so let's go explore it quick so it's a very residential area a lot of greenery here too so it's really nice so it looks like it's a just another pathway parallel to the escalators you can see down here they got a little footbridge right here that goes up and over and then up here it's kind of the same just stairs and stairs and stairs. The city is stairs. <laughs> Private streets for the attention of passerbys. Oh, it's, it's mostly for people with dogs. So I feel like these areas off the escalators are lesser known cool areas to explore. I love how Hong Kong is so like mountainous and the terrain of Hong Kong and you can find these little, these little hidden gems. <laughs> I don't know, of, pl of places to explore. So if you like the urban explore, definitely, obviously there's not like any abandoned shit up here, but um, if you like the urban explore, uh, 
and especially for photographers man this is like a photographer's paradise or a youtuber's paradise if you're into uh, cinematic shots and whatnot so yeah this might actually like there must be a dog park nearby because there's like a bunch of good boys up here yeah there's a bunch of dogs coming and going up here but uh it's really nice All right, so this is an interesting intersection. As you can see right here, it goes up from here. We got a restaurant and a grocery store right here. There's a Thai restaurant right here, pizzeria, Indian restaurant, I think, over there. So it's uh, quite diverse for such a small little area. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought I was able to stay in the middle of the crosswalk without impeding anybody's plan, but a taxi just came in beeped instantly but now check this out so this one goes straight into a grocery store so it's actually a really good uh place to have your grocery store because thousands of people a day have to walk by it anyway so that's some good property i bet the rent's like pretty high but now we're, we're doing like a dog leg left and as you can see over here uh there's stairways under here but we got the escalators up here so it's interesting for people living here they have thousands of people coming by their house each day so i hope they have their windows blocked off pretty well so what i usually like doing with you guys is exploring places that i haven't been to yet so we can discover it together but i've been to the escalators a good like three or four times and i thought it was such a cool thing to show that i couldn't pass it up and so uh at least i got to show you guys but like i said i'm gonna try to keep this channel more about discovering things together rather than me presenting, this is this. Hong Kong is not what I expected. Or, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, all right. So this is the last leg. We're coming up. We are at the top. This is the last escalator ride, as you can see. We made it and we have a 25 minute walk to the Victoria Peak Tram. I didn't think it was that long of a walk to be honest. Damn. All right, but we got some water. I think we're good to go. Let me just show you back here just to get you a good view of the top. I stand corrected because I've never taken the tram from here. I didn't know it was a 25 minute walk, like I said. I thought it said 25 meters, <laughs> but it's minutes. And here's what it looks like. But I think I can make this walk into uh, 15 minutes, maybe 17 minutes, because I walk at a good pace. Also, that's a pro tip for when you're traveling. People ask why I walk so fast, and like, I mean like everybody, everybody I travel with. One, I hate the act of like, if I have a destination, I hate the act of just like lollygagging around, walking slow. I just want to get there if I have a purpose. Two, if you walk faster than everybody else, then when somebody else is matching your pace or walking faster than you then you know hey look over your shoulder somebody might try to like pickpocket you or like i don't know rob you or some shit so that's always a good way to uh to it's just a little safety tip walk faster than everybody else and then you'll know when somebody's coming up behind you all right i doubly stand corrected it's probably going to take me longer because I forgot I like to get all these cool shots around here. <laughs> so, oh, like this. This looks fucking sick. Check it. So we got the parking lot. And boom. That looks cool. It looks better in person because, like, you can see the depth. You only see a flat image. Whereas your eyes see, you know, the curvature, the 3D-ness, whatever. But I hope it looks pretty sick. Good thing I uh, these people walked by because... I was going to go down this way without realizing that the tram sign is up this way. So I, I remember this now. You got to go on like a little hike. But I didn't go up this way last time. There's like another, there's a couple areas you could hike up. But yeah, all right, let's wait and go. All right, let's see how fast it takes. Oh, it went right away for the last guy. All right, so I was wrong with that. You just must have touched it at like the right time. But now we are on our journey. 
maybe 20 more minutes. Let's see. Here, right here, is a sign to the peak. And we gotta go up this way. Woo! Yeah, that's quite steep. The peak is right here. So we actually got a ways to go. I don't know if we're gonna take the tram. It looks like, I don't know if the tram, it says the tram, but now it just turned into the peak and not the tram. So I don't know, the signs did at least. I don't know if we're gonna beat sundown. <laughs> we'll see. I think I see the tram stop over here. All right, so this is one of the tram stops that you get on. I don't know how much it is. So you can see the tunnel comes all the way down there. It's pretty dark. I don't know how to tell you, inside a frame. Yeah. Between the tree and the tree, it's amazing. Okay. I always do the fourth. Thing. All right. So you go up here. Yeah. Let's take your, you young boy, you right. Google stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get up, there's a road, you go down. You go down. You just walk the road. Okay. All rich people are there. Yeah. And then at one point you will do it. Yeah, I don't need to tell you. You oh. just buy. <laughs> All right. You see it. It's just amazing. Okay. Try All right. it. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm gonna do it. Try it. All right, cool. All right, so the guy was saying, don't take the tram down, just take the road down, and you'll get some amazing sights. He's like, just do what you gotta do, but trust me, just go down the road. And he, he didn't even want to describe it. He was like, you'll just see it. <laughs> so, uh, I hope the tram's still running. It's It's gotta be, it's only like seven. I don't even know how much it is either. Because uh, there's no signs here, it's kind of a, Weird bus tram stop. Let me see how often it comes. Oh, I hear it. Right? No. Never mind. I just don't really want to miss it because I've been here like 10 minutes already. 15 to 20 minute interval. 15 to 20 minute intervals. Okay, I can deal with that. It's funny because as long as you know it's coming or what time it should be there then you're okay with it. Wasn't there that like London study underground? People would rather know that they have to wait eight minutes rather than a train being late one minute. This makes sense. I thought this was the bus stop. I was like, but it's like a little bus stop, but I forgot I got come up here and then we got the, oh, this is where all the signs are and everything. Why don't I just research this? Anyway, yeah, so this is where the tram stops. It looks like it's coming now. How much is it? I gotta do a a stop request going up. It's 62 to go up for a single. Oh, there's people going on. There's people on right now. This seems awkward as fuck. <laughs> Everybody, I'm stopping for... Oh, very disoriented. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Getting on, this is very disorienting. It still feels kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, now we're coming to the top though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Appreciate it, bro. What's your name? Prince. Nice to meet you. Which one is the? Which one's the? All right. <laughs> so now we gotta enter through the gift shop. Oh yeah. So the ticket. Oh yeah. So this whole area up here is just like gift shops, restaurants, whatnot. The ticket is for the very top. So you can come up here for free without a ticket uh, and just enjoy it. Oh no, wait, this was a tram to damn it. <laughs> you gotta buy another ticket on top of that. What's up? Bro, I, I browsed your YouTube channel yeah. and I realized I was watching your, deep, your oh, videos really? before. Oh really? When you were haggling with, uh, I think, shops in China. Awesome. Nice to meet you bro. Yeah, nice to meet you bro. Hello. Hi, 
One for the Sky Terrace, to please. Top, yes, to sir. the top. Uh, so you didn't come here by tram? Did I did you? come here by tram. Okay, you pay with the octopus or you got the ticket? Ticket, yeah. Okay, it's finished. If you bought the... Uh, oh, I don't have to pay? I mean, uh, another ticket if you want to go. But uh, for your information first, uh, uh, Chaiko is not allowed to Okay, I'll put it in my backpack, top. it's okay. You can buy here, 75. Okay. Because it's not what, what, what did you say about this? And sometimes the tram ticket may include it. Oh, Sky Terrace, but yours I get it. Okay, you. okay, Sorry. okay. Nah, no problem. How so much How much is the tram ticket? Well, I know, but like how much 62, is... 62, another 62. Oh, another 60. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a little you, discount. You, yeah, you haven't right. bought the combo. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, you can. Yeah, I was... I, <laughs> you don't mind. I didn't even know where I was going. Uh, I was just pressing okay, buttons. Or, <laughs> or walk okay. How, how long of a walk is it down? Uh, one hour. For one, you, maybe half hour. an hour. <laughs> okay. But I walk one hour. You walk one hour, okay. <laughs> cool, Be thank careful. you. Thank you. Uh, get to level two, one more. Alright. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I make YouTube videos about also, travel. Also, also, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll write it down, yeah. I you like watching I YouTube? I like watching you all, all, the, all the time. Okay. Here it is. Okay, I tried, I search, I search you. Okay, I appreciate okay. it. I Thank you. <laughs> Alright, gonna put you guys on the floor quick. <laughs> no tripods allowed, so. I think I might. Nah, I don't need a tripod, I don't think. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have to crank up the ISO, guys. Sorry about this, but I did not bring my nighttime camera. I don't know how grainy it is, but I guess <laughs> we'll see. One thing's for certain, no matter how many times you visit Hong Kong, you just can't come to Hong Kong and not visit the peak. You always have to visit the peak because, dude, this view is so freaking cool. <laughs> All right, how do I get to the road? Oh, this, way. this way? Okay, yeah, all right. Sure you, I found it. Oh, did you? Awesome. Yeah, I will, I will subscribe. Okay, I appreciate I it. Already. Hey, thank you so much. All right, see you. All right, so this is the main area, and that's the road right there. Perfect. So we're going to take all these people's advice, especially that guy. He was, like, geeking out. <laughs> I want to see what uh, he's geeking out about. At first, she said an hour. The other lady said half hour, but now I'm gonna make it like 20 minutes, if that. We'll actually count this too. I just gotta figure out which way we gotta go. Okay, down here, let's go. 807, we'll call it 808. The issue is, I don't know if this is the right way. God damn, cause it says walk, bus, stop. I don't know. All right, we'll double check with maps. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way, it looks like. We're restarting the timer, it's 812. And I'm just going to hope this is the right way. <laughs> Excuse me, is this going downhill? Is this, uh, I'm sorry? Is this going down the hill? Yeah, yeah. This way? Okay. Yeah, where right. are you heading? Just down to the city. Damn, man, that's, that's a long walk. Man. How long of a walk? Oh, well, shit, you might as well take a bus down here. I want to walk it. <laughs> oh, hey, well, hey. How that long of a down. walk is it? Um, well, which part of the city are you heading? Uh, just anywhere. <laughs> just yeah. to the bottom, yeah. Well, just the city. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, you. Okay, well, okay. If you if you get a Google or anything, yeah. Um, well, first thing I would imagine is you probably wanted to go to a, like central area. Yeah. But uh, being here, your best bet is probably heading down to like, yeah, shit, um, Happy Valley. Okay. If if you put your put your map down for Happy Valley. Okay. You're a much better bet. Perfect. All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, have a good night. Yeah, you too. So he seemed like surprised, like, you're crazy. But the other ladies were like, yeah, just do it. So, all right, we're doing it. All right, time is now 2015. So I spent three minutes talking to him. We're counting in now, 2015. Let's go. The issue is it's not just one road going down. It all splits off into different things so now I understand why it's like if you head for Happy Valley you'll be good so uh, 
I gotta look and see where we're going. By the way, right now it is 822. Where is Happy Valley? Over there. No, you know what? Oh, that, okay, this connects to this anyway. So, okay, let's go. It is quite peaceful though. You can see a lot of this nature. And these streets, you gotta be careful. Cause you gotta remember, it's on the opposite side of the road. So, you, when these cars are taking these corners, make sure to be on the right side of the road. Uh, sidewalks are here and there. Like I'm on the pretty wide one, but earlier there was like super narrow. Up here it doesn't look like there is one. So yeah, I think it ends right here, end of the sidewalk. So I think, I could probably just jump, but I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> Break my leg and have, well I get, there are taxis out here, so. All right, he said Happy Valley, but I made sure to double check because the thing is, I never use the actual directions in the Google Maps, so I actually put in, I actually said guide me directions. It's like the first time I have did that in like years. But, uh, so Happy Valley, like he said, was an hour 26, but Central is where we want to go actually, and it's only 51 minutes from here. So, uh, we're gonna follow that. So I think we need to, Oh shit, we need to go back up? Was I walking the wrong way? No. See, this is a thing. The, the, you guys know on like Google Maps how like, it has like this thing that shows that you're facing this way. But every now and then, it's backwards. So I need to go. Alright, that was kind of scary. I should not do that. Um, we'll figure this out. Alright, so we were going the wrong way. Now we gotta backtrack. Maybe I should use the actual main function of the app in the first place. So we're back at the Victoria Peak building. So I just straight up went the wrong way. So I met that guy over there as I was going down that side. That's why he was freaking out. <laughs> so if we walked from here, from the Peak building, to and go the correct way map says it's 51 minutes so the time is now 20 36 8 36 so <laughs> i hate having to reset these times but we just went the complete wrong way i just want to see what it is officially to get from here to there so 8 8 36 8 38 8 41 8 43 all right this part's mad steep and it's wet out so, I'll take it easy. There is a resting bench though, but all right. <laughs> it's starting to smooth out down here, but like, <laughs> you gotta be careful right here. 8.47, 8.50. Bro, I think a skunk just walked across here. Oh my God. Oh shit. I don't wanna see what the fuck. Oh, I gotta slow down, bro. <laughs> fuck, that could have been bad. I thought it, I don't know. Porcupine? The skunk? Fuck, that's, that's dangerous, bro. On the steep ass part of the hill. 8.55. So, we are officially at the bottom of like the hiking trail. I don't know what she qualified as one hour, but I still gotta make my way to Central to where those escalators were, and we gotta walk down that area. So, I'm gonna keep it going. 8.36 to 8, well now it's 8.56. 8.36 to 8.56 to hike this hiking trail. So 20 minutes, but now we're in the city and we gotta figure out where to go. 8.57, finally got to our first set of stairs. Uh, this feels so much better than <laughs> the slope. It is 9.05, I'm gonna stop counting here because this is where we, where we came before. So we've finally interacted, intersected with the path from earlier. Damn, am I tired? Even going down is quite a quite a task, so. Whew. All right, damn. We are at the top of the escalators again, so now I gotta make the last leg down the escalators to go back into the city to do some cool shit, and damn, I need some water. Evian is the best water, but Damn, more than half the bottle. But, 
the Perrier is the best sparkling water too. I don't know, San Pellegrino is pretty good too. EVN Fiji water is good, smart water is decent, but EVN for me is tops. So this is the first set of stairs that you go down and it leads straight into here, but don't get confused and tricked because the stairs to keep going down, you go up this way. So I rate this American out of America. <laughs> Definitely taste like some of you are getting in a small town. No, for real. That was excellent. Now I'm going to take you to this uh, store that we passed at the very beginning of the video. It's just like Japanese store. They sell a lot of cool Japanese things, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really checked it out. So we're going to go down there. It's just right at the bottom <clears throat> of these escalators. And we'll see what's up with that. All right, here's the spot. Don Don Donkey. Let's go in. Oh, they got downstairs. Let's go downstairs first. Bro, what is this? <laughs> a guy with like a duck head diaper? Okay. All right, so down here, it's like a regular grocery store with a Japanese theme. We got steaks. And I wish I had something to cook one of those up with. All right, so down here is pretty basic. Let's go up there and see what they got up here. It looks a lot more lively up here. Maybe I need one of these. I've been, yeah, I'm gonna get one of these. Shirt cool, fresh citrus. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, one of these too. Yeah, hell yeah, definitely gonna get that. Look at these like big meat sticks. Just eat this bitch? Uh, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. It's like the length of my whole arm. This is what we really came for, to be honest. I'm not even joking. So the Strong Zeros are one of my favorite drinks here in Asia because they don't have like White Claw or anything. And I don't like sugary drinks. Beer's okay, but I don't like to drink too much beer. So you gotta go with the zero sugar stuff. So I'm gonna grab one of these lemons. I'm gonna grab a, a lime, apple. I'll just get every flavor. <laughs> I don't want to get too fucked up though. Peach, and uh, we got the Strong Zero Dry. Bro, this thing's like a maze. They usher you through only one way. Are you an influencer? Uh, I make YouTube videos, yeah. I wonder, yeah. Yeah. yeah because he, he just came out to his mum, so oh. we weren't sure we wanted oh, to do the video. Oh shit, my man, yeah. my bad, bro. <laughs> 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 I'll take a bag too, please. Please, one dollar. One dollar's okay. Thank you. So, like I said, they make you bag it yourself, and they have a little bagging area, which is cool. I prefer that actually, because I don't like just standing at the cashier and you know just waiting. Like I rather just do it myself, and I can bag it how I want. Not that I'm too picky anyway. Actually, I'm not picky at all. Um, <laughs> this is not gonna fit in the bag, so. Will it fit in my backpack? Bro, I'm gonna have to strap this to the side of my backpack. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. So I got this backpack specifically for the Insta360 uh, 10 foot selfie stick. This works perfect for it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Look, it keeps it locked in. Go give these a go. 
Let's go. We have the five strong zeros, nine percents. We have the lemon, we have the lime, we have the dry, I haven't tried. We have the peach, I haven't tried. We have the apple, I haven't tried. You've tried these two, right? Yeah. These. We've all tried these, so yeah. I'm giving these to Bert. I'm gonna try these three. We're gonna try the dry first. Good, very neutral flavor. You can taste the alcohol, but it's not like a vodka soda. There's some kind of flavor in it. Calamanti. Ooh, Calamanti, yes. I just realized we're gonna have to drink all these. That's got a nice like sharpness. It's got like that Calamanti peel flavor in there. It's very sour, very pucker, very. That's good. Maybe a little too sweet. And now we got the last one. Apple. That one isn't as sweet as I thought it would be, which is really good because I don't really like too much sweetness. So ranking it, dry, lemon, apple, whatever that is, <laughs> and peach. Onto the sausage. There's like a casing on it. Oh, is it? it tastes good. Oh yeah, so there's a casing around it. Ooh. This is good. No, just break it in half. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Oh wait, Colin, it says we should have cooked it. Really? No. <laughs> Time to do laundry before we cross over into mainland China. So this is literally doing your laundry on the street. I don't like to leave stuff for when I get to a place. I like to get everything like all squared away because then you get to a place and you feel like you got to do chores and then you don't even feel like you're in the new place. So I think it was just hilarious that it's people are just going about their day going to work while you are just packing throw on your clothes in. So do you have uh, laundry detergent? The detergent added by, okay, yeah. All right, so, and we got the octopus card. So you can just top this up. This gets you anywhere in the city. Taxi, pay at 7-Eleven, whatnot. You don't know how to use it? it uh, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know. You don't know how to use it either? Yeah. Well, okay, good. You don't have to put your number in. All right. He's getting his laundry, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you can go for it. All right, it's going. Perfect. 30 minutes, but enough of doing my chores. Let's go to China. All right, so now we're going from Hong Kong to China because we're going to begin our China trip. And I'm really excited. I haven't been to China in five years now. So we're going to see what uh, the process is like because we're going to the Hong Kong Shenzhen border. So you just walk across the river, you clock out of Hong Kong. You're in no man's land until you clock into China, and we're gonna see what this is about. I'm 99% sure we'll have no issues, uh, but you never know. There's always maybe that one thing, especially after everything that's happened. So I'm excited to take the trains because we don't have to go to the airport. We don't have to, look at my luggage. We don't have to weigh our luggage and whatnot. This is like 70 pounds, so this is like double the weight of allowance anyway, and then, each city's four hours from one another that we're planning on going to. So it's like you just hop into a train, get the train ticket at the station, hop into the train, rather than show up at the airport three hours early for an hour or two flight. It's just it's just a lot less stress when it comes to packing. Because like you were saying earlier, like I was I was thinking this recently too. It's like the like the most stressful thing about traveling is just packing and like getting to the airport. You know, like dealing with like. If your shit's overweight, all that shit. I'm excited. Let's do the damn thing. So we got a taxi to the subway and then the subway to uh, the border. So this is a 40 minute train ride from one end of the subway to the other end. So it's not bad. And it was only like 50 Hong Kong dollars, which was like six bucks taxi ride. He asked if we wanted to go all the way to the border, but that would have been like 60 bucks. I don't even think he would get us there faster than this would. So we just saved maybe $55 about US dollars, so. We made it across. I'm so excited. It's so hot out. I had to change up my whole wardrobe. And uh, we're bad. Hello. No, I don't need it. Where are you going to take me? First order of business, I need to get my phone fixed. Recently dropped it, you can see it's all glitched out and everything. So we're out here in Huashan Bay, which is the world's largest electronics market. I was trying to get this fixed in Hong Kong. However, the markets in Hong Kong, they didn't have 
they just didn't have the product or the screen to fix it and I went to Samsung but I felt like that was gonna take a couple days so I feel like I could get this done here within a couple of hours maybe they hold it overnight I get it tomorrow so hopefully that's the case <laughs> otherwise maybe if they hold it overnight I'll pick it up tomorrow also pro tip always carry a backup phone when you travel so this is the one I need fixed is the S22 Ultra this is my old phone the S20 Ultra ideally get a phone that you can clone to another phone with ease so Samsung's got their smart switch so what I'm gonna start doing actually is I'm gonna start keeping my backup cloned like clone it every month just in case so if I do need to use the backup I have um, a pretty up-to-date version of all my apps and whatnot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a place like I said just look at this place it's not just one building it's like a whole district of just like electronic shops electronic repair shops everything like that so let's see what we can do for Samsung S22 Ultra S22 Ultra yeah to get those out chin it's gonna look how much it's gonna be. He said okay. it's gonna be a bit expensive. Thanks, I, I, I assume so. <laughs> 1850 1850 How much is that? It's That's over uh, $300. Look. Really? $1,850. If I buy seven, why not? $1, no, no, US? 260 yeah, How long does it take to fix it? Hour. One hour? No. Damn. Is it OEM screen? Uh, new screen. OEM? Yeah, OEM. From, yeah, okay. If that one, they were doing copy. Oh, never Can doing no copy. copy then. Okay. Only right. original. Yeah. So don't worry about me. this thing. Okay. First is the quality. Only one stick, one quality only. Yeah. And then, second is the price. Yeah. The price, you can compare it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. give a new screen. Uh huh. Right now, I give one screen protector for gift. One what for gift? Screen protector. Screen protector. You put protection in your screen. Is it a gel screen protector? No, uh, uh, like a like soft one. Like a soft one. Yeah. If you like the glass, you I don't like glass. the glass. I, I like the one, one that, that, that like, you know, the one that doesn't feel hard and like straight. I like the soft. Me like, too. Okay. Before I use that phone also. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, use play. Let's Just do it. We're doing it. I'm doing right now. Yeah, you do it right now? Perfect. We change the screen in the shop. Some medium quality one, something like this. Yeah. The price is that 400, but from the Apple store, always more than 1000. Oh wow. How much does Samsung charge? Like half. We are charge cheaper you charge half. half then? Okay. I just like seeing this whole process. It's interesting. How many phones do you uh, repair a day? Sometimes 10 days or maybe more. Okay. We have a lot of customers send a V check. Uh huh. And you can meet like that like is. Right. Together. All right, we're gonna go get money to make sure, sure I can pay you. You have my video, right? I, yeah, I did add. Yeah, you. if you can not find me in my shop, I will send her. Okay. See you at one hour. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So that was super cool. I didn't think when he said an hour, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, because I thought it'd take like five hours or something. But he literally just does it right there on the spot. Because I thought like you know it would be like a team of people. Maybe they have a queue of phones in line. This isn't even in like the like inside where it's like looking more sketchy. This is right outside on the street. So basically this is a massive electronics market. They've got everything here. So you're not gonna have any problem finding anything. That's the whole problem in Hong Kong. They might have to order the item and then yeah. maybe it takes a day to get there or two days to get order there. Order it from here. They probably order it from here yeah. <laughs> and then it goes down there. So why, why not come to the source? So it's $260, which I think is more than fair. You know, he said, Samsung charges double so and at that price point it's like it's almost like do you want to just like upgrade to you a, new, get a phone? new phone right yeah. exactly it's like even though it, I, I know it's like a sunk cost like I don't know but all right let's go explore this market so he also uh, added me on WeChat so he's gonna message me when uh, that phone is ready <laughs> She wants you to buy it. <laughs> it's travel. It's travel capable for sure. Uh, that's how much? Yeah, I'm buy. Nah. That's like thirty bucks. Yeah. Traveling piano. Oh no. Oh, I thought I had a.
一百五十，一百八十，一百五十，一百八十，一百五十，再高一点点。啊啊啊！谢谢。I guess I'm buying a piano. I've never played before. We can make our own bed. I know. <laughs> well, I'll just take this. But how much is this? 150. This is around 23 US dollars. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, a Buyao box. <laughs> huh? Oh, I can just open it. Okay. This is Buyao. 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 Now I need to do an electronics market spree. Damn. Okay. Uh, oh, shit, shit. We gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> Let me play the drums really fast, I'll just try. Alright, so Bert is a drummer. Bert is an actual drummer. Try this one. This one might be better. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Hello. Ah, this here. Ooh. Very nice. You did. We have Bangla. We should do show. We should do show. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting the bargain here. I just wanted to get my phone fixed, but. Oh, that got that gives me an idea. Now I can just make a all-out Huashan Bay electronic market screen. Yeah. Ticket dose out chain. Uh, uh, 20, 200 RMB. Alright, so we're coming out back. So the phone's ready, he just messaged me. Hello. Hello. Well, I'll look. <laughs> yeah. It was, you were right on time. Here, let me put this on before I drop this again. <laughs> so it's all good to go, hey? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, got a pro tip for you guys. All right, how much? Um, 185. 185, yeah. okay. 1900. Yeah. And then they give you 50 back. All right. Thank, Thank you, my you. friend. I appreciate it. Shout out your shop. You want to say something to the YouTube yeah. people? Yeah, Let's sure. go to your shop. The shop looks the same. We have a full shop in here. You do? I have one more big shop in next place. Okay. Yes. Right. Maybe next time you come, come in. Alright. Looks like a copy professional iPod. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of new things. Alright, cool. Thank you. Here's the old screen. It's pretty interesting to check out. But I have something to show you guys. So the screen, it looks good. We're just going to check the a couple things so what i was going to say going back to earlier when i said you can clone your phone it's good to clone your phone or it's good to have two phones you can clone one to the other because you're going to want to reset this phone before you give it to uh the people working because you never know what kind of stuff they can mess with also we're going to check the imei of this phone i took the picture on this phone to make sure the imei numbers match up because that is the number of this phone so we want to make sure he didn't like swap anything. I'm, I, he's a trustworthy guy. He seems like a trustworthy guy. I'm just showing you guys this, and it's always good to do your due diligence when it comes to things like this. So, star pound zero six pounds. Let's see if this matches up with, yeah. Like I said, it's just doing your due diligence to make sure the phone wasn't swapped out or any fookery like that. So, we're all good to go. Got my new phone screen and uh and he gave me a phone protector or a screen protector because i wasn't i didn't i i thought i had one on but i didn't so cool i was bust this shit oh shit <laughs> all right guys that's it for this video this is the first time i'm doing a proper outro on this channel last time i just kept you guys hanging but we did a shit ton of stuff today and that's what i'm gonna keep trying to do in these videos is do like multiple things throughout the day because i'm just 
traveling on my way anyway, so I might as well bring you guys along with me doing my daily stuff, showing you guys some cool things along the way and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thanks for Bert for coming out. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. It was a great time. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on a trip together, so he'll be on this trip anyway, so you, di you didn't even come out. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, I'll be, keep posting to this channel, so make sure to subscribe. Watch some other videos, because I do have some other videos that you may have missed, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later.